Hi, I'm Lisa McCree with the Skinny for Everyday Health. Okay, kitchen chickens, this one's for you. And requires so little cooking, I don't even think it could legally be called a recipe. I'm Lisa McCree, and I'm a journalist, and a mother, and a cook. And I've worked in television for 25 years. I've been a local anchor and reporter, and a network anchor and reporter. Good morning, America. I'm Lisa McCree. The reason I started The Skinny is that I'd been struggling with weight for several years after I quit working. And I'd tried every diet and couldn't seem to shake it and finally had given up on myself. But then I went to the pediatrician with my children and he really gave me a wake up call. My daughter at eight years old was heading toward a weight problem that was really gonna cause her some harm. And I couldn't let that happen. She's my responsibility. And so using my skills as a journalist and my love of cooking, I decided I just had to figure out a new way for us to live, not a diet, because no child should be on a diet, but just a way of living. I promise you, you're gonna be thrilled when you open your refrigerator the next day and see all these ready-to-go options in front of you. They're your new fast foods. You know, the skinny is a philosophy, and it's based on a set of truths, not rules, but truths about food, you know? For example, if you wanna lose weight now, keep it off for life, you're gonna eat more things that grow and fewer things that walk, right? Which means you're gonna start eating a lot more plant material than you have before. Vegetables, fruits, nuts, whole grains. And so the way I shop has been completely transformed. I spend a lot of time at the farmer's market, but I also spend a lot of time at the bulk bins of my neighborhood market. Because if you're gonna eat less meat, you wanna make sure you don't lose the protein that you need. You're gonna use a lot more beans in your cooking a lot more grains. My recipes are inspired by a variety of sources. Sometimes they're my favorite chefs and I have a lot of chef crushes. I have 250, 300 cookbooks. I also came from the South, so there's a lot of church ladies in my family who have their own little notebooks that I've used. <laughs> and, you know, I play. Try this skinny version of French toast at home. Your scale will say merci beaucoup. My family has really gotten on board with living the skinny. It's not always been an easy road. There have been some great successes, but there have been a few failures that they said, please, mommy, not again. Some of my family's favorite recipes are skinny sesame salmon. Kate, my daughter, loves the sweet and spicy butternut squash. It's cooked with cinnamon and cayenne and salt with a little bit of sugar-free maple syrup. She asks for it at lunch all the time. My son, who would eat dessert 10 times a day if he could. Loves Berry Skinny Trifle. There are a few recipes I should probably back off on a little bit, like black bean tostadas, because I'd eat them every day. But my husband was asking my son what we had for dinner the other night, and Will said, black bean tostadas, and Don said, you have that a lot, don't you? And Will said, you have no idea. <laughs> I'm excited about being part of the Everyday Health family. It's a website that I use every day. I research recipes on it, looking for nutritional data. But we also have other reasons that are more personal. My mother was diagnosed with Parkinson's. My father had quadruple bypass surgery. And we return to that website all the time for lifestyle choice information. I have so much fun in the kitchen. I'm not a chef, but I am a cook and a pretty dedicated one. It's just fun, it's creative, and most of all, it's delicious. The best part of the journey for me, as good as it feels to be able to wear my pre-children jeans again, is that my children are better eaters. I mean, I know that they're not only more fit now than they were when we started, they know more, and they're gonna be better eaters for life. And as a mom, that makes me feel terrific. My dream is for the skinny to really empower people. I want to give them the knowledge to learn how to buy seasonal vegetables, to learn what to do with them, to make a strategy so that they can cook more of their own food and rely less on processed food or takeout. If you have these once a week, you're much less likely to stop in for those belt-busting french fries at fast food restaurants. You know, most importantly, I want people to understand that they're fine, they're good, but the fat, it's hurting them. If I can change my life in these little ways and lose more than 30 pounds in four months, my husband lost more than 40 pounds, by the way, I think anybody can do it. I think once they understand the principles and the philosophy and try a few of my recipes and get in the swing of it, they'll have success, and that's what I want for them.
If you like what you see, then like us and subscribe. Just hit that button and we'll let you know when we post new videos.